The diseases that we study, hepatitis and liver cancer, have huge impacts on communities because they cause illness in individuals who are in the prime of their lives, in, in, in their most productive years. I began to see a number of individuals who had either hepatitis or hepatitis-induced liver cancer from the Somali immigrant community who were presenting here at Mayo for care. Hepatitis is, I call it, in a sense, a silent killer. People can have hepatitis for 20 and 30 years, and maybe it's in the, the fourth decade that they have hepatitis, but before they begin to have symptoms. Is there a way to get into the community, identify people who don't have symptoms, and begin to do screening, for example, in people who are asymptomatic in the community, be able to start treatment for them at a stage where they don't have any obvious liver disease and, and then prevent the development of liver disease. We necessarily need people who have a focus on many different areas to work together. And that's really been one of the strengths of that the OHDR, the Office of Health Disparities Research, brings to Mayo, is that they're encouraging the development of a community of researchers who have interests in all the different areas that apply to health disparities research so we can work together to improve the health of communities. The Office of Health Disparities Research was created to promote and to manage health disparities research across the institution. I see it as a one-stop shopping, one door for uh, investigators to come to if they have needs to increase a minority uh, representation and diversity in their studies. They need collaborators who can lead them to community partners, we will produce through this office uh, resources for investigators to develop high quality, evidence-driven research that will improve the quality of patient care and the health of the community. If you look at the population and the demographics of the U.S. population, it's becoming increasingly diverse. Uh, we're seeing uh, different types of patients come into our doors as healthcare providers. And we really need to be equipped to take care of their needs if we're going to not only take the best care of them, but also if we're going to remain competitive. If you are working with a more diverse patient population, you're going to do better science. As we understand better what are the biological, the genetic, the societal dimensions of different disparities. That just allows us to treat each person better. And it really you know, helps us reach the goal of having a nation that is healthier.